Ever since the release of Virtual DJ 2023 with the STEM 2.0 feature, there has been much need for graphics cards to be able to at least use the real-time STEM separation feature in Virtual DJ. Now, this has been a huge problem, especially to DJs who cannot afford to buy graphics cards. And of course, Virtual DJ gives you an option to prepare your tracks before, and this is still a huge problem because it can lead to your computer shutting down, freezing, or anything worse like that. And you only have maybe an option to disable the stems feature in Virtual DJ, which is not a nice thing. Now, if this is the case with you, this video is for you. So please stick around to the end because at the end of it, you'll be able to use the real-time stems separation feature without the need of a graphics card. Also, please make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. Sorry if there's noise in my background. And of course, I'm not very fine. I hope you really get my voice clearly without wasting so much time. Let's start it. Now, first of all, I want you to see that I have these three songs here that I've copied to a new computer. This is a computer that dis doesn't have any powerful graphics card. There's this song up here, and then it has its stems file made before I made it in a powerful computer. And of course, I have another song down here, and it's only the audio without the stems files made before. Now, I want to go to Virtual DJ and then try a few things for you. I'm going to navigate to where I put the songs and here they are. We remember that this one down here has the stems file and I'm going to load it to the second deck. Now, as you can see over here, when you see this tick here, it means the stems feature. I mean, the stems have already been prepared for you and you can just do away with it the way it is. I want to load this one here to this opposite deck and then let's see. When we see this taking forever to prepare, this means our CPU is just trying to struggle with it. And then what I want you to know is that if I click any part of the vocals or the stems part, we, we really see that we didn't get a problem. The song was just able to play on. I had to mute it because of copyright. But here we don't have any pop-up of any warning saying we need to upgrade our graphics card or things like that because I already have the song playing in real time with the stems made. And it is not going to be the case, of course, with this other side when we play it. Now, when we click anywhere, we see this pop-up. This is something that is not really interesting at all times. This is what we don't want to see. We have this option maybe to use the low quality stems, but this is not nice at all. Now, let's close this. And I'm going to go back again. I'm going to try and go back. Because if we, see, we can see here it's saying, computing stems in deck one this is something that can lead to virtual dj freezing when you're playing in the mix now when we come up over here another thing that i want to do is i want to copy the stems file also for the other second song by mr vegas and just go paste it over there where the song is of course this file here has to be in the same folder with the song so i'm going to paste it over here and then we'll see what happens to it all right so there we have it so we're going to go back to virtual dj itself and then see if it's going to work i'm just going to come over here to refresh my database just like that and now both songs have their stems files i'm going to once again load this song on the second deck and we already have the tick in real time okay and also the other one should be able to work because now we have the files together let's load it to the opposite deck and then see what happens when we look up over here we already have the stick i mean this stick over here right and you're good to go so this time around we don't have a pop-up this thing is working in real time just because we simply copied and pasted this file over here to its song. And this is a nice thing. This is what I'll be able to do for you. Of course, now you should be able to like copy your stems from another computer and then transfer them and use them wherever you go in any mix in real time without having the stress of having to separate the real time stems when you don't have a graphics card. I want to try a few things. I'm going to delete the stems file for this song by Egyptian and I will leave the one from Mr. Vegas with its file together. Now let's go back to Virtual DJ and refresh the database. And I'm going to load the one from Mr. Vegas on the second deck this time around. Remember, it still has its stems file. And when we look up over here, we have the tick ready. Remember, we deleted the file for Egyptian song and it's over here taking forever to prepare the real-time stems. This is sucking, right? Now, when we just press anywhere in the stems, we have this annoying screen. This is what we don't want to see once again. So when we close it and try the other one of Mr. Vegas, things really work. And the CPU here was struggling to prepare stems, yet the other one is just something very easy. So I unloaded it. Now I'm going to copy it again, okay? I'm going to copy that one of Egyptian from the flash disk, the stems file, of course, and then paste it back here to be able to see if it really works again. 
right? Now let's go back to Virtual DJ, refresh the database. Both songs have their stems files together. They should be working this time around. I'm just trying to prove myself right on this one. The tick is there, no pop-ups, no nothing. Stems working in real time. I'm going to load this other one also. Both of them have their files. The tick is there ready. Real time stems separation working with a graphics card. So what you really need is to have these. Now what if you rename the file? Somebody might ask that. Now what is here is that I'm going to even explain this before I try it. I'm going to of course rename it. But the thing is that if you rename this, you rename any of these files, you're just going to cause a problem because it's not going to work for you. Now we have it there renamed. Let's go back to Virtual DJ. Would it really work? We've renamed for Egyptian. I remember, I think. And she's a whole. Let's load it over here. It's actually taking forever. We renamed the one for Mr. Vegas. It's not working, okay? For Egyptian was not renamed. It's working in real time. And then this one here is still loading forever. And then the computer is struggling. See the pop-up. So don't rename it. Okay, just copy it and then paste it in the same folder where the song is and it should work like for deck one here. So there's nothing much you really need. You just need to have the stems file made before from a powerful computer. I'm going to unload them. Now when we go back to the other side, I, like I told you, I'm going to try and rename. This time I'll rename the stem itself. Last time I renamed the song. This time I'm renaming the stems file. Let's see what happens once again. Now we have something that happens over here. That when you rename anything like this, it's going to even multiply. It can just mess up your thing. You might not even be able to, dis to, to distinguish between which is which. Okay? Take my English easy. See what happens here? You have duplicates and copies of the stems file. You don't know which one works, which doesn't work. So the case is really do not rename it. Do not change the name. Copy the files the way they are. Let them be in the same folder with the song, same title, same name. And then I'm going to delete this and I will copy more, more of these songs and then I'll let, let you try. I'm going to be leaving this in the link in the description here. So I have these songs which have their stems already made from my computer. I'm going to copy them and leave them over here for you to try them. Uh, I'm also going to delete the stems file for at least one of them to prove to you one more time that these things work. Now I'm going to copy these. And as you can see over here, I hope you can really see that each song has its stems file copied below it. Each of them have their stems files being copied along with them. And this is what you should always do. Put them together in the same folder one more time. And I'll be glad, of course, to be helping. Like, I'll be giving stems packs in case you don't have the graphics card. If you're facing this problem, you can always leave a comment down below the video with a request of the song. So I'm going to delete the stems for this other song here. To prove to you that of all songs, this one without the stems file will not work in real time. Yet the rest should be able. Now we've copied our songs. Let's go back to Virtual DJ and see it one more time. So we have all these songs over here. Let's refresh the database. And we have the songs over here, right? So all these other songs starting from the bottom should be able to separate in real time. That one has worked. We see the tick over there, no pop-ups. Uh, we have this one here. It has its stems file. The tick is there. It's really working. The next one should be able to work. So I'm going to just try this one by one. I hope it really gives you sense. They are all really working. Just like I was saying, you can be able to request for this stems file. But please, I'm going to create... A, I have a Telegram link already, yeah? I have a Telegram channel so you can come with your songs. In case you don't trust my music, you can download your high-quality songs, upload them to my Telegram and request for stems. I can be able to help you after a few hours, of course, of doing other things as well. So I can give you your stems file in a zip folder. Just just do that. So we have all these songs working, no pop-ups. And then the other one is also there. So remember, we, set, we, we deleted the file for this song here, right? We can see it's spinning forever. And once we click somewhere, oh my God, we have this. So please request for your stems file in the comment section down below. I'll be giving stems pack each time I come. Of course, you should be able to look at the description of the video to see the playlist, I mean the list of songs that have their stems. You can also join my Telegram channel and then come requesting for stems files. If you don't trust my music, once again, download your high quality songs, zip them up, okay? Compress them, send them to my Telegram. I'll be able to help you after a few hours of work. 
Of course, I have other things to do as well. So that is how it works. Please leave a like if the video makes sense for you. Also, be sure to subscribe and then turn on the notification bell. I have more videos coming. Please see you in the next one.